All right guys, today's video, I'm gonna show you on my Galaxy Tab 3 seven inch here, how to install a custom ROM. And this is gonna be, let's go ahead and actually show you what, what we have here. I'm gonna install this ROM right here. It's under ROMs. It's called uh, Infamous Tab 3, and that's version 1.1 zip. And we're gonna go ahead and install that in recovery. Now, that being said, that's what we're installing. There are a couple prerequisites for this. Obviously, you're going to have to have a custom recovery installed. That could be either Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp Recovery, Team Win Recovery Project. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys just so you know what device we're on. And right here it is the SM-T210R. And there is the build I'm on right now, which is the MG4 build for this device. And like I said, we're going to install a custom ROM. This is stock right here. The only thing that's different on it is it does have root access and it does have um, custom recovery installed. If you don't know how to do either of those things, I have videos on that. Please check out my uh, YouTube playlist on that. So right here, I'm just going to show you this really quick. I did actually theme this and edit it. It was green icons. I made them blue just because the th green just didn't look right up there. I didn't like it. I'm going to actually probably do some more uh, development on this device myself just because uh, it looks fun to do and there's not too many people doing it. So I'll probably do more of that and if I do some more with this, if you guys want this, I will go ahead and probably create a zip for it if you guys want to flash it. So there we go. Let's go ahead and do a boot into recovery. I like to use uh, this application right here just because it makes it easy and a reboot to recovery. Like I said, that's called Goo Manager right there. Um, if you have Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp Recovery installed, you can use it. You have to have root access also to use the Reboot to Recovery in Goo Manager. So here we go. This is a Team Win Recovery Project right there. And let's go ahead and go through these steps of doing this install. So first thing you're going to do is go to Backups. And I'm going to set a nickname. We're going to call it Stock, hit Enter, and then we're going to use External, that's good. So we're going to swipe across and create our Android backup. Um, this backup takes about 2 gigs if you're running stock system, a little more depending on your apps and how many apps you have installed. And you want to go ahead and do this anytime you flash a ROM, just in case something goes bad, you can always restore your backup. The other thing I want to point out right here is your battery level is 90 percent it's also pretty important to make sure you have good battery level uh, level at least 60 percent or more before you do a flash so we're going to let this thing go through and finish the backup and then we'll continue on this process okay so our backup has completed we're just going to go ahead and right here hit uh, back we can go back with this arrow or this arrow we're going to go back again and we're back to our system now if we ever need to restore that we can just go to restores pick our restore file and it'll restore it so we're gonna go back we're gonna go to wipes now that we have our backup and we're going to wipe cache swipe across and go back we're gonna wipe Delvic swipe across and go back factory reset swipe across and go back uh, I'm not gonna do system that's normally the most important ones to go ahead and do so we're gonna go back here we're going to go to installs and we'll go level up, go to ROMs. There it is, infamous tab. Click on it, make sure it's the one listed, it is, and slide across to flash. Now, this update here shouldn't take too terribly long. A ROM like this one, probably maybe five minutes to install, maybe less. Looks like it's going pretty quickly. So we're going to go ahead and let this thing install. Okay, so our install is completed. That actually only took about two minutes, honestly. It was very, very fast. Um, you can wipe cache again if you want. I wouldn't, I don't think you need to. You can go home or you can reboot. Um, normally at this point I just reboot, but I just want to show you you can also get back to your main screen here and also do a reboot this way. And that should reboot the device. So let's go ahead and let it boot up. Let's check out our boot animation on it. Sorry about all the fingerprints. Didn't clean the screens before I did it, obviously. And let's just go ahead and see what we have here for boot animation. Looks like we're just going to be running our stock boot animation. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let this boot up. It could take up to 10 minutes, probably more like 5, to do the first boot up. 
If you do have a problem, you can still get into recovery and restore your Android backup, but give it plenty of time to boot. And then I'm going to go ahead and go through the uh, ROM with you guys, show you some of the features in it, and we'll go over it and wrap this thing up. Okay, first thing I want to show you guys is after you skip through some of the setup, you can pick between two launchers. You can have the classic TouchWiz launcher that you used to on this device, or you can install Nova. Um, so let me just show you Nova anyway. We're going to go just once for right now. And this is Nova Launcher. So you can see it looks a little different than your other launcher. And this does come pre-installed like this. So let's go ahead and look through your applications and see if there's anything special different in here. Um, this all looks pretty standard. Right here, Infamous Tools, that's going to be something new. Online Android Backup, that's also new. Root Browser is also nice, that's good. I prefer ES File Explorer, but it's neat that it's in the ROM. You do have SuperSue for root access, uh, Trickster Mods, X Theme Engine, and Exposed Installer. So those are probably your new, your newest features here. And like I said, this is Nova Launcher's kind of look and feel. Um, and then if you want TouchWiz, we'll go look at that really quick here. And TouchWiz doesn't have really too much set up on it, which is actually kind of funny. Um, so we're going to actually go back to the other one because it looks nicer. Okay, so uh, there we go. We've got that. Let's go ahead and see our pull downs. Looks pretty standard. And everything in here looks uh, pretty much the same. Like I said, you can see again here we're on that same MG4 build, but it's got all those extra cool little applications in it, which make it really fun. So let's go ahead and try looking at trickster mods. I know this is a functioning app. I've used it on lots of my other ROMs. And it does look like it seems to be working pretty good. Tools got your governor CPU stuff some different uh, settings you guys can go through if you like this kind of stuff here's an exposed installer and we do want to actually go ahead and install it so install grant super user permission okay and then you want to go to modules and you want to download the modules and then I would go ahead and do a reboot to kind of get all that in there correctly. Uh, once you get the exposed in there, you can do a lot of cool things with the exposed installer, uh, along with the theme stuff like that. So um, overall, I mean, it looks pretty slick. It's basically stock, just tweaked, um, with some cool applications in it, and like I said, the exposed stuff and its theme engine and all that, which you guys can apply all kinds of stuff in. So like I said, it is pretty much stock. But the tweaking is really what makes any custom ROM fun is these infamous tools and these extra features that are added into it, like I said, exposed installer and all that kind of goodies. Um, there you go. That's pretty much the ROM um, and the install on it. Hey, guys, as always, check me out at rootjunkie.com right up here. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter on the other side. Root Junkie out.